no alternative but to sack Carl Sargent says Carwin Jones. First Minister Carwin Jones has said he had no alternative but to sack Carl Sargent following allegations about his conduct. Mr. Sargent's body was found on Tuesday, four days after he was dismissed as Communities Minister and suspended from the Welsh Labour Party. It is understood he took his own life but Mr. Jones said he had acted by the book over the matter. He said he would try to provide answers which Mr. Sargent's family deserved. There has been criticism of the way Mr. Sargent was treated and his family has called for an independent inquiry. Ex-Welsh Government Minister Leighton Andrews, Welsh Conservative leader Andrew R. T. Davies and Plaid Simru leader Leanne Wood also want inquiry, which Mr. Jones suggested could take place in future. Claims about inappropriate touching or groping were made to the First Minister's office last week and following Friday's sacking, the Allen and Deeside AM had vowed to clear his name even though he said he did not know the details of the allegations. An inquest into Mr. Sargent's death will be opened and adjourned on Monday. As it happened, Jones' statement over Sargent death. Carl Sargent not given natural justice, family. Sacked Labour Minister found dead. Profile of long-serving M's career. Minister removed over conduct claims. Mr Jones met Labour AMS on Thursday to explain how he handled the conduct allegations against Mr Sargent. Mr Jones then made a statement from Welsh Government headquarters in Cardiff on Thursday afternoon. He called the situation the darkest days any of those at the Assembly could remember but were the darkest of all for the family. Despite speculation Mr Jones could have resigned on Thursday. The speech made no reference to his own political future. Speaking publicly for the first time since Mr. Sargent's death, he said, There are a lot of inaccuracies in the press, and many of you have questions to ask about what happened last week. He said, Precise details will need to be properly disclosed at the inquest. I and my team will, of course, be cooperating fully with any questions that are raised there, he said. The family deserve to have their questions answered and if that isn't possible through the inquest then I will endeavour to make that happen through other means. I welcome any scrutiny of my actions in the future and it is appropriate for that to be done independently. Paying tribute to Mr. Sargent, he said, Carl was a true force of nature, he drove through more legislation than any other minister. Not just through force of argument, but through force of personality. Presentational Grey Line Analysis by Von Roderick, BBC Welsh Affairs Editor When Carwin Jones finally appeared in front of the cameras today to deliver a statement on the death of Carl Sargent and the events that led up to it, there was an expectation that the First Minister would attempt to answer at least some of the many questions that have been raised since the former Secretary's death. Instead, while paying tribute to the man he described as a true force of nature he did little to answer the questions raised by Mr. Sargent's family and others. A reference to a possible independent inquiry seemed equivocal at best. The First Minister's reference to inaccuracies in the press again raises more questions than answers. If reports are inaccurate, why not correct them and why refuse to answer questions from journalists who are trying their best to report the situation accurately? Carwin Jones is human, of course, and I have no doubt that his grief and shock are genuine. That may explain why a statement which would have been perfectly apt in the hours following Mr. Sargent's death seems insufficient and vague when delivered two and a half days later. Presentational Grey Line Mr. Davies said the episode has significantly undermined public confidence in the First Minister, while Ms. Wood said the statement was not adequate. UKIP Wales said it would call for a motion of no confidence in the First Minister. And Mr. Sargent's lifelong friend and Flintshire Council's deputy leader Bernie Attridge, called for Mr. Jones to resign saying he had not done the decent thing. Mr. Andrews said a number of people were expecting a definite commitment to an independent inquiry from Mr. Jones' statement. Earlier on Thursday, Mr. Andrews alleged Mr. Sargent had been the target of bullying in the Welsh Government. Former Public Services Minister Mr. Andrews claimed there was minor bullying and mind games during his time in government, and said the atmosphere was toxic during the last Assembly term. The undermining was of ministers, deputy ministers, and special advisers, Mr. Andrews said in a statement issued on Thursday. He said Mr. Sargent was unquestionably the target of some of this behaviour. 
the relentless drip-drip of disinformation, and worse, had a strain on his and others' mental health. The ex-Ronda AM said he had raised one particular issue with Mr. Jones, of which he had direct evidence, but claimed due process was not followed. The Welsh government has declined to respond to Mr. Andrews' claims.